show with me, can I ask what? <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how about you? Really good, really good. Second game, second win for your team. Yes, yes, very good win, I think. Um, it's a tough Warsaw team, you know, they came in here, they gave their best shot. Mm -hmm. um, we just want to keep winning, so. This this game was much more, much more closer. Maybe not looking at the final result, but the third quarter they were still. I mean, Polonia was too close. Like only three points advantage for your team. Mm -hmm. Were you a bit nervous about the final result? Um, nah, I never get nervous. <laughs> uh, that's just a, that's just the honest answer. I'm never nervous. Um, like I said, they came in here, they gave their best shot. Um, I think we knew coming into today, to, to, uh, coming into today, okay. that um the game would be a little bit harder than yesterday. They made mm -hmm. some adjustments. We made some adjustments, and we got the job done. Okay. Uh, what about the the third game in in Warsaw? Do you think it can be even tougher for your team? Absolutely. We went down there um, during the regular season and went into overtime with these guys. Um, it's playoff times. You can't count anybody out. It's about who shows up that day. Um, they're on their home court, so mm -hmm. I'm sure that they'll bring a little more fire, make a couple more shots. So it'll definitely be a tougher game. Okay, we will see <laughs> if you are right. <laughs> uh, you also have experience in the in the W uh, NBA. Mm -hmm. uh, two years ago, you were drafted. Uh, it was on your birthday, am yes, I right? Yes, Can yes. you tell us what were your feelings on that day? <laughs> um, honestly, it, I've, I've been saying it for the last two years. It was literally the best present I could have ever received. For um, sure. It was, it was a great feeling. I was like, Shocked, excited, uh, okay. ecstatic, all at once. It, it was it was very hard to explain. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, it's your second uh, season overseas, playing overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever experienced similar emotions like that on the day when you were picked up, when you were picked on the draft, or not really? Say that one more time. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, okay, take your time. Uh, I, I was asking because um, I was asking uh, if uh, playing overseas, mm -hmm. have you ever experienced similar emotions to that day when you were? picked on the draft um yes for me i feel like every year i sign a contract to come overseas it's a blessing so i feel like as soon as i put my name on that line i'm feeling excited i'm feeling okay. that rush you know um this is my passion this is my love so when i get the chance to do it i'm always hyped up and excited mm -hmm. uh unfortunately i would say i don't know if you if you agree with me or not uh, but the WNBA is not so popular uh, in uh, in in poland uh, for instance uh, okay uh, we have a few um, players like you, not only you, I think the, 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 the name which pops up quite often is Erika Wheeler. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm pretty sure that not so many people know that two years ago when Erika, uh, for the medical, medical reasons, couldn't play, you replaced her in, uh, am I right? You replaced Erika uh, in uh, Indiana Fever, I did, correct? I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Is it different uh, in uh, in the United States? Uh, do you attract more, attract more uh, interest of media? Uh, and also, are you more famous uh, among regular people? Um, I, you know, the W's growing in, in America right now. It okay. wasn't um, that popular at first either there. Um, okay. We're really working on that woman's coverage in America as we speak, like literally right now. So I think it's growing. I think we're doing a great job of really mm -hmm. getting that exposure, really putting ourselves out there. It's great that women are speaking up for themselves, you know, really putting themselves on those media platforms to really speak out about their passion about this game. So I would say that it's on a rise. It's not where it should be yet, okay. but it's on its way. <laughs> okay. I'm happy. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. here and uh, fingers crossed that it will make it to the position that it deserves thank you thank you <laughs> uh, i would say uh, when i when i look at you at the court you seem to be a very complete player not only bringing a lot of energy to your mm -hmm. teammates but um, you see a lot on, on the court i would say a very good percentage from the distance a lot of drives um, have you seen in the polish league any player um, any nation i would say that you think that that it in any, any player that could make it to go to the w with the, with the skills with the attitude um the first person that popped into my mind is natasha mag my teammate <laughs> of course like that that's just like a, a given um her okay. athleticism the way she rebounds the ball the way she hustles is um is it's just is uh demanding you know it's uh it's mm -hmm. dominant so i think if she keeps building herself uh believes in herself and keeps riding with her potential she can the sky's the limit for her okay fingers crossed yes <laughs> for that uh for that to happen um when the uh when the season finished in poland i think it will be not over for you mm -hmm. because you have been already uh signed to the training uh, yes. camp am i am i right for, yes. the, for the for the chicago uh, Sky, can you explain a little bit to the viewers how does it work? Because it's not a final mm -hmm. contract for you, right? Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to go to tra uh, training camps and I'm basically competing for a spot. Um, 
it varies depending on teams, how many spots are left on their roster for that season. But um, I'm going to go. It's about two weeks long. You okay. go. You you play your best basketball. Uh, get When does it open? Or in April, April 17th. Or? Okay. <laughs> so it's really soon. Uh -huh. Yeah, literally. As soon, uh, hopefully, we make it all the way through finals, and then I'll go straight to uh, Chicago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so paraphrasing uh, for for your WN career, we can say that it started with a uh, with the Indiana Fever. Yes. Then you are a little bit blinded by yes. the Connecticut Sun. Then you can reach the Chicago Sky. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> fingers crossed. And the final uh, questions, because you you played for the top organizations like Indiana Fever. Can you, uh, in your opinion, what are your what are the key elements for the for the club to be like the real professional organization from the point of view of as a player um i think the number one thing between a lot of average basketball players and elite basketball players is the defensive end um those teams they dig and they get it done on the defensive end to take their defense to the offensive end and i think that that key right there is what, what really sets a lot of teams aside um mm -hmm. being able to play team defense being able to rotate on cue okay. with your teammates so definitely defense 100 okay. defense and from the point of view how the organization is working What is fairly critical? good? Very, very good, I think. I think um, we're doing. We're talking about Poland, right? Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, we're doing very good. Very good. I think that we're building on a lot of things. We're really getting things done. We're, you know, it's the best record we had okay. in Lublin history. So I think we're doing a pretty good job of building. Okay. Thank you very much. It Thank was you really so nice much. to meet you. Congrats for the for the for the twins for you and for the Thank for the team. Thank you again. And always, Ali. Good luck and worse. Thank you so much. I really <laughs> so appreciate it. Thank you.